Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on Evaluate the Integral here. Obviously here we need to introduce a new variable and use substitution. So the trick when you're doing substitution, just to watch out. It's not hard per se, but it gets messy. Minus 2x dx is what I have here. Since I'm going to substitute x and dx, I'm going to just do a du divided by minus 2 is equal to x dx. Okay. From there, the rest of the stuff, it's pretty easy. We'll just have to watch how it steps. It's a little slip. All right, so du is minus half du here on top divided by u to the third. Let's clean up a little bit. Minus half du u to the minus third. Using power rule, we have u to the minus two times minus half. Okay. Now, one thing I always tell students is before you go on, check it. If you take derivative of this one, you would have, let's actually write it on the side, u to the minus two. If I took derivative, I would have u to the minus three times minus two. Okay. So this minus two and this minus half should cancel each other out. Which, which leaves you to u to the minus 3. That's how you check if you get it right. Okay. Constant checking is the key. So quarter and u to the minus 2, I'm going to put a u on the bottom. And that's squared. u was y minus x squared. Incidentally, some teacher prefer you to put x squared minus 1 in the front. Now, since this is squared, it doesn't really matter which one you want to put in the squared because y minus x squared is equal to minus x squared minus 1. Okay, so if you square this one and you square this one, you end up equal to the same because minus 1 squared x squared minus 1, the whole thing squared again gives you the same answer. Okay. So either one of those, some teacher actually are a little pickier than others. But when I create the homework, if you get to this step, I give you the full credits. And if you want to do this one, recognizing the square for both of them, it doesn't really matter. But if you want to put it in this one, this is also correct. All right, hope this is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan, making learning math fun. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.